amiguitos, and welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Seha! It's Cooking with Seha! Seha! Cooking with Seha! Seha! As I previewed last week, this week we are gonna make a spicy a meatball! Now, if you're wondering why I'm serving a little Karl Lagerfeld up in here tonight, I sliced my finger on Saturday, feeding Baloo, so... You know, we got a little special appearance here. This is food safety, y'all. Now, I like to get down to business, so let's start with our meat. This is 80% ground beef that I'm going to start with. You can use 90%. It'll give you a much firmer meatball. Just don't go below 80%. Anything below the fat content just starts messing with your meatball. To my ground beef, I'm using a pound of hot Italian sausage. This is pork. Um, if you prefer to use all beef there are some Italian beef options out there you can also use a pound of veal if you're I mean all for that also if spicy meatballs are not for you this meatball recipe can easily be substituted for a mild Italian sausage and you don't get that full kick so I start off by mixing two meats together Ooh, sounds like pride weekend up in here I formed a well in the meat and now I'm beating two eggs in the center of that well now, the next couple of ingredients are gonna seem a little unconventional. But don't question me, Sandra, just do it. We're gonna add about half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, and about a tablespoon of Wish, 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 wish the sauce. Okay, incorporate these into your egg just so we get our liquids together. I know completely disgusting, sounds completely disgusting, but you're disgusting, okay? And it's about to get disgustinger. One fourth of a cup of whole milk. Yes, I know the correct term is more disgusting, but disgustinger just sounds better. Okay, now we're gonna add half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs imported directly off my private jet from Italy. Half a cup of real Parmesan cheese, guys. Kraft is okay, but it's not real. And they know what they're doing. Next, I would add about four cloves of minced or pressed garlic, but I'm about not complicating my life today, so one tablespoon of garlic powder goes in there. Fourth of a cup of freshly chopped parsley. About a teaspoon of garlic salt. About two teaspoons of black pepper. Well, five shimmies in a shake then. And for more kick, about two shimmies in a shake of crushed red pepper. Now I'm not a huge fan of spicy food, but there are recipes where the spice enhances the flavor. I feel like meatballs, is one of those where just the spice of it really brings out the flavor of the meat and the sauce. I'm not saying it has to feel like you're sucking off a bottle of Tapatio, but, you know, the nice little kick works. Let's get about another teaspoon of oregano in there. Now my favorite part, and it's Baloo's favorite part too, are you ready? Yeah, we're gonna mix this. Get away. We are gonna incorporate everything together. I know it seems like a lot that goes into it, guys, but it's just what makes these meatballs so great and adds to that complex flavor of a damn meatball. It sounds so simple, meat and balls, I mean. I'm not opposed to doing this on a stand mixer with the bread hook attachment, but it just feels like you're actually making meatballs when you have your hands in them. I say give it a solid three, four minutes of mixing. Once everything's incorporated, we're gonna pat it down. We're gonna cover this up and stick it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm in a rush, so 30 minutes it is. Now you know I'm all for cooking on a budget because I understand financial aid ain't kicking in, we spend all our money on Coachella tickets, we spend all our money on drinks. I'm here for you. I'm gonna show you how to make a sauce to simmer our meatballs in that will cost you less than two dollars. Two dollars! To a saucepan, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of EVLL olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. This is on medium heat and I'm just going to melt down my butter. Now that my butter is nearly melted, I'm going to add half a cup of chopped onion and two cloves of pressed garlic. And these are two large cloves, four small cloves of pressed garlic. We're just cooking this for about three minutes. 
until the onion starts to become a little bit transparent. Right as it's starting to brown, we're gonna add two cans of cheap ass sauce, guys. Do not spend more than a freaking dollar on your pasta sauce. This already has mushrooms in it, so that's a plus. Hit it with a little water in the can, you even get a little more, oh! Oh, 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 and there's the other can. There we go, two cans, guys. These are 16 ounce, I believe. Nope, 24, I was wrong. Now we're adding some seasoning. I have about one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. See, it says it right there, Italian. About a teaspoon of oregano. About another teaspoon of ground fennel. And a teaspoon of basil. Turn your sauce up to medium high heat. Once it starts to simmer, we're gonna cover it up like a Trump scandal. I let the sauce simmer for about five minutes and then turn the heat down to low. Give it a good little twirl here. Now, all you health nuts, get off mine. Una cucharada de azúcar, so one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of flour. Mix that in, keep this on low heat. Step to the side and it's time to put some meatballs together, ladies and gentlemen. As I mentioned earlier, this is live TV and I'm in a little bit of a rush to get these out for you. So I froze my meat mixture for about 30 minutes. Um, I usually leave these overnight in the refrigerator, which is what I recommend for you to do as well. It, the firmer you let your meat get, uh -huh, the better your meatballs will keep together when you simmer them. And that's what you want. You want a nice tight meatball. Oh, free to just grip the size you kind of like, roll it in the palm of your hands into a ball, and there's your meatball. But I am going to cheat a little bit. To get evenly sized meatballs, there are a couple different options. There is such a thing as a meatballer, believe it or not, and I did have one that I used to use to make cake pops. And um, it, it has since been donated, and now I can't find a new one. So what I did was take an unused mold, so a sphere mold, from the craft store and portioned out my meatballs and then just packed them together with my own hands. I still recommend you roll them in your palms um, just so you still get that packed meat and they don't fall apart. Plus, I know y'all love meat in your hands. I know Baloo does. The next step is to take your meatballs and place them gently in your sauce and we're gonna simmer them. So I know some people are used to frying the meatball um, prior to serving it. But I love getting my balls in some sauce, so this actually results in a juicier, nicer meatball for me. Um, I prefer it, and I know you'll like it too. There's just so much immaturity involved with this recipe. I love it. Like anything that says balls, I don't care if you're 27 or 67, you're probably going to make fun of it. going to turn my heat up to medium, cover this up, and we're going to let our ball sit there for 20 minutes. Sweating a little bit. See, I got, there's so much you can say, guys. I'm full of these. So just let your ball sit there for 20 minutes before you play with them. You don't want to hurt them. You don't want to let them break apart. The whole cooking process for the meatballs does take 40 minutes. So 20 minutes just sitting there simmering. Then you're going to stir them occasionally, five every five, ten minutes or so. In the meantime, enjoy a glass of wine because I know that's what daddy's doing. Also, while we wait, I do want to send a special shout out to all the fans of Cooking with Seha watching us today. Make sure you still go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. I had never seen so many fans come out of the word work. I heard it so many times this weekend. Okay, it was twice, but whatever. Like it is thanks to you, the fans, that the show keeps going. I thank you. Cheers. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this, guys. My meatballs have been cooking for about 25 minutes now. I've given them a little stir. We're gonna continue stirring for another 15, 10, 15 minutes or so, and then we're done. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is Baloo. <laughs> here is our dish, our spicy meatballs with sauce over some whole wheat spaghetti served today. You can use any pasta you like. Of course, a little Parmesan over the top of these here. And bone apple tea, y'all. Mmm. It's hot. It's hot, but it's good. It's hot, but it's good. It's hot, but it's good. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Cooking with Seha. I hope you enjoy this week's episode. I know Baloo enjoyed this week's episode. He'll probably enjoy a meatball or two as well. It's Cooking with Seha!